والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد اللهم لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته respected Muslims a hadith that quite often we neglect and uh, highly likely it is forgotten from the Sunnah of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم and that is what Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم said in a hadith that بين كل أذنين صلاة بين كل أذنين صلاة ثم قالها في الثالثة لمن شاء another hadith بين كل أذنين صلاة لمن شاء بين كل أذنين صلاة لمن شاء وكان ابن بريدة يصلي قبل المغرب ركعتين then another hadith that is بين كل أذنين صلاة إلا المغرب so now three hadith mentioned the first two we are seeing it pretty much similar those who understood I will go through the translation inshallah and for the third one we'll come into that inshallah uh, with further explanation because third one seems to be something different those who understood the Arabic words so Rasulullah said the rawi of this hadith is Abdullah ibn, ibn Mughaffal radiallahu ta'ala anhu who actually was a sahabi and hadith is recorded the first one was recorded by Imam al-Bukhari rahmatullah alayhi as for the second one it was actually recorded by uh, Ibn Hibban rahimahullah ta'ala in his uh, sahih and it is actually authentic hadith by the uh, by the two hadith scholars one is Shu'ayb al naud and the other one is Ibn Hibban rahimahullah so bayna kulli adhanani salah meaning between the two adhan is there two adhan in every salah or what do we know about the adhan and salah okay bayna kulli adhanain in this instance means the adhan as well as the iqama they are both known as adhanain because both time you are calling okay you are saying allah akbar apart from the iqama when you are saying qad qamat is salah so pretty much the words are same in the adhan you have more in the iqama you have less okay so this is the understanding of this hadith other name the first one and the iqama that you give before the salah of course when it comes to the sunnah prayer we know that before the fajr you have two before the dhuhr you have four then after the dhuhr you have two then before uh, before the maghrib you have two then before uh, uh, sorry after the maghrib you have two then after the isha you have two all together in one hadith 12 rak'ah then another hadith talks about four rak'ah of sunnah prayer before Salat al-Asr, 16 raka'ah. Now, if you want to gain more reward between the, between the iqama and the first adhan of each prayer, outside those 16 raka'ah sunnah, you can pray more. Okay, that is if you gain the reward. And for you is the evidence of this hadith of Abdullah bin Mughaffar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Okay, so for example, we have a tendency that when we are praying Salat al-Maghrib as soon as the Adhan is given, we would like to go and give the Iqamah and start the, uh, uh, start the Salah. Whereas here, the second hadith that I read, there was a case where Rasulullah rather encouraged people to pray the Sunnah. In, in this case, uh, first one was generic, second, was, was, second hadith was specific. That, why? Because it is related to Salat al-Maghrib. So, before the Mu'adhin gives the Iqamah for Salat al-Maghrib, after the Adhan, you have the opportunity to actually pray the two Raka'ah Sunnah. Okay, Liman Shah, whosoever is wishing to pray. So you have this. Now, sometimes what happens is that Imam is about to start the prayer. Of course, the Musalli or the Muqtadi would say, Assalamu alaikum wa would end the Salah and would be ready to be led by the Imam. Okay, but... If you, are, if you are praying the sunnah and you are on the second rakah, you finish the second rukur and you're doing it, alhamdulillah, that is fine because it is recommended to do so. Okay, so this is one of the forgotten sunnah. We quite often do not hear, vast majority of us Muslims, even if people do so, but they don't know the dalil. Now we have the dalil in front of us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to resurrect us as the people of Dalil, Allahumma Ameen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq to act upon the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allahumma Ameen. Hada wa sallallahu wa sallam, mubarak ala nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'in. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.